All right, guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. I'm gonna be continuing with Burp Suit as we are live on Kali Linux, so let's get on with it. Uh, this is going to be a rather short video because I have to leave for somewhere and uh, let's get it done really quickly. So, first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your Burp Suit. Obviously, if you guys don't know what this is or what I'm talking about, no, 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 no. Go back. Nice. Don't open Chrome. Uh, okay, uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just check out my previous tutorial about Burp Suit and the introduction. Let's grab this over here and uh, close this out come on Bob nope 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 no I don't want to unlock my key no no better okay so click next start Bob suit let's start this shit and uh, today I'm gonna be teaching about spidering the host this video is not even gonna take what like four fucking minutes or something all right so like I said uh, I'd be telling you about target um, proxy obviously then we have spider intruder um, compare and uh, some project options why haven't I already gone through project options you know what I'm not gonna go through project options today I actually have to leave in about what 15 minutes okay um, Mozilla is just asking for some details let's just drop that packet by the way when you drop that packet that packet is not sent to the server again nope all right no, 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 we don't need any login page. So today I'm going to be teaching about uh, burps spider. So like I said, if you guys are, uh, oh my God, have I lost all my vocabulary? If you guys are testing a, uh, an, a web application for vulnerabilities, the first thing that you guys would want to do is scan the website. It's really useful when the site has its own sitemap. So you guys can just grab all the links from there. But uh, it's also very useful if you guys just go through all of the uh, links yourself and uh, not just you know automate the stuff because a lot of the times you guys are gonna wanna fill the forms yourself and a lot of shit so you know what let me just give you guys a practical example to start burp suit over here and let me see if this is recording because if okay it is I really hope in the right volume because the last couple of videos that I recorded on windows were totally out of whack so wow totally out of whack I just used that phrase nice drop 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 nice uh, let's minimize it the first thing that you guys would want to do is just um, select a website that you guys want to target please do not target my website seriously do not so let's go to techroos.com hit enter and the proxies uh, forward this forward this forward this forward 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 all right so we're over here let's go to the target tab uh, if I haven't shown you guys the options of proxy here these are I will tell you about them later on let's focus on this so we have techroots.com so this is our main target over here uh, rest of these links that this website is going through is probably JavaScript that's making cross domain requests but uh, what you guys want to focus is on your uh, target right over here so when I click uh, this drop down arrow uh, you guys can see that uh, these are all of the links that are present in the home page I'm gonna go to the same directory uh, you guys can see that these are all of the requests get requests that uh, the burp made and uh, I'm gonna move this burp suit window over here now the first thing you guys want to do is visit uh, the website once in a while <laughs> uh, second thing you guys would want to do is um, bring it over here you know what I really wish I was recording my both of my monitors all right uh, okay uh, let me just adjust this for my preference. Nice. So the next thing you guys would want to do is uh, intercept. What's up? Um, I'm gonna drop this packet. Drop, 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 drop. drop. Anyways, uh, let's go back to target. The next thing you guys would want to do is add this target to your scope. So I'm adding this. The next thing it says, it prompts you with the dialog box that, hey, these are all of the other domain names that it's making request to. Do you guys want to add that to the target scope? And uh, for now, let's just click no. But if you're being very, you know, in depth, you might as well do it. But I would suggest that you guys do it separately for other domains. Uh, it could be rather useful for CSRF, which I'm going to be talking about later. And let's move on to, um, I have added, added this to the scope. The next thing you guys would want to do is spider this host. And that's it. Yeah. End of the video tutorial, guys. See you later. No, I'm just kidding. So what this spider is doing is that uh, what it basically does is that it will click each and every hyperlink that you have. Doesn't matter what. And it also fills out the form. The main disadvantage is, is that it's automating this process. You cannot just keep a tab on each and everything. 
so let's go back to target uh, this is a fairly small website um, wow so many cross domain requests anyways so you guys can see that now we have the icon page and uh, whatever the hell we have um, spider is still running let's wait for it to make its custom request uh, as your spider will run through you guys will see that the directory is just increasing increasing and increasing I should have JavaScript folders by now why don't I have them yep I have them already so we have the asset folder right now I don't think it was there before the point is that spider works and I'm gonna just forward these requests um, yes 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 just forward it uh, you know what I'm just gonna put off intercept uh, while you're actually manually doing this process you guys would want to uh, switch off the intercept so what it does is that you guys will uh, the burp will just um, create the directory or subdirectories for your target but it will not ask you to forward each and every request uh, manually you guys can do that for spider as well so these are the, all the requests this is the bytes transferred now the next thing that we're going to focus on is the settings um, okay no not these ones <laughs> uh, the options so what this does is that it checks the robots.txt file uh, if you guys don't know the robots.txt file is the file that's usually put it by uh, put on the server by the sysadmins or the website administrators. What they do is that <coughs> no, sorry guys, I have cold. Uh, what they do is that uh, robots.txt file tells you that you're not allowed to crawl this particular domain. If you guys uh, go on Facebook.com, you know what? I'm just gonna put off my intercept for a little while over here. Uh, go to Facebook.com and robots.txt I don't think so we're allowed to crawl any of these uh, but let's see I haven't been to Facebook for a while alright so you guys can see this is a, what a robots.txt file would look like uh, you guys can access this from your computers as well so you guys can see that almost all of this shit is disallowed you know yep I actually never have seen Facebook's robots.txt in particular but uh, if you guys are uh, spidering something just make sure that if you're automated spider spider is not getting the results that you think should be there uh, make sure to check the robots.txt file so that's one thing to keep in mind the next thing is um, spider yeah then we have the ignore the links that are non-text so for example an image a page that contains a 404 image you don't want that and uh, that's all the things uh, then we have maximum link depth so this is basically how deep you would want to go uh, set to default you guys probably don't want to do this uh, uh, mess with these settings right about now uh, then we have passive spidering but passive spidering does is like I said it will make all of the directories it will keep all the records while you're doing this all by yourself while you're kicking all uh, while you're clicking all of the links um, manually now here's the part that sucks about uh, well not sucks it's just a tedious process because when you're monitoring the whole uh, target scope or you know just uh, going through all of the what do you say uh, websites links what you guys would want to do is switch off javascript for once then go through all of the pages then switch on javascript go through all of the pages uh, then fill out all the forms correctly and incorrectly and monitor all of those results and keep them in separate separate uh, directories so that's kind of annoying because it's usually a very large process you guys can obviously automate a uh, spider to fill out the form for you but you know don't also spider lets you put in uh, actual uh, username and password just in case you guys want a session token to crawl particular web pages where is the uh, option for that i swear to god there used to be an option for that okay i'm just gonna switch off my mic because i'm gonna do some gross stuff with my nose All right, we're back and let's see if it's still recording or did I mess up the whole thing? All right, um, let's go over here, over here, yep, there it is. So if you guys um, actually want session crawling, uh, make sure to just uh, put in your username and password over here. It will fill out the form on its own and uh, go on with the spidering. The next thing that you guys would want to know is that uh, while you're spidering all of this, uh, make sure that you do not click any link that breaks your session uh, for example if you're accessing a page for your user profile you know uh, sometimes you have to target yourself just to see uh, what you can do as a user and how you can fuck up the web application so make sure that you don't click any links that break your session or your session code uh, the next thing that you guys would want to keep in mind is that quite a lot of times you guys wouldn't shouldn't 
uh, automate the spider because sometimes what happens is that if you guys don't know about PHP my admin this is going to be a tough example but basically what PHP my admin does is that uh, okay uh, let's go through the basic concept of spider again it will click each and every link that it found finds uh, every page every link of the page so sometimes what happens is that due to poor configuration spiders are sometimes able to find the administrative uh, page of uh, the website and these administrative page lets you create the database and basically handle your database all right so what happens is that the spider will go through each link and uh, if that uh, control panel is found by the spider it will click on create database it will click on yes it will click on uh, delete database and basically if that link is found you can fuck up your client site so that's one thing that uh, can really mess up mess you up like seriously you guys do not want to delete that uh, whole database because trust me it, it's a whole new mess by the way if you guys haven't heard or uh, i have no idea how you didn't hear it it was quite uh, it uh, like uh, everybody was talking about it uh, there was this employee that joined the team uh, very recently and uh, he was given a demo laptop and a PDF that how he has to create his own database so that he can just practice a little bit around and then they will put him on actual actual projects. That guy uh, in that PDF documentation that how you have to create your dummy database, what happened was the password was for the actual database and the process included that the previous data in the database will be wiped out. So that guy accidentally logged in as the main company's uh, in the main company's database and wiped out all of the data. And he got fired on the very first day and uh, he was blamed a lot. This, you guys should, actually should go through it. Uh, everybody was talking about it. Everybody was uh, consoling him and uh, you know what? Just give it a study. Uh, just give it a read. It's, it's a nice article. It's a fun article actually. And uh, it's been 12 minutes and I should be leaving. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, like this. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. I will be uploading a Python tutorial video in about uh, when I come back. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial. Peace out.